Hey guys, I am Trisha with Insectopia, here to talk to you about blister beetles. These beetles are in the family Meloidae and are native to most countries around the world. The only two places that they cannot be found are New Zealand and Antarctica. Today, we will be talking about their unique lifestyle and a toxic chemical that they can secrete from their exoskeleton. Like most life cycles, this one starts with an egg. Blister beetle eggs are one to two millimeters in length. The larva that emerges from the egg is a triungulin larva, which is a mobile larva with fully developed antenna. They are on a mission. These larvae are parasitic and need to find their host. Some will climb up flowers to sit and wait for a bee to pollinate the flower. Others can actually use chemical signaling to attract a male bee. Once the bee lands, the larva crawl up the bee and hold on to its hairs. The bee will eventually travel back to its hive, where the triangulin larva will let go of the bee and crawl into the comb. There, it will feed on the bee grubs and eggs. The beetle larva will stay in the comb for the rest of its immature life and therefore no longer need the long legs and fully developed antenna of the triangulin. It molts into a grub-like larva and feeds until it is fully developed. It pupates in a cell and will emerge as a fully developed adult. It is now ready to leave the hive, find a mate, and lay more eggs. This is all very cool, but what about this chemical that I mentioned before? Well, the adult blister beetle can secrete a toxic chemical called cantharidin. This is a defensive chemical that the beetles will secrete if they are disturbed. If a predator tries to eat them, the chemical will burn the predator and hopefully give the beetle enough time to escape. Cantharidin can also burn and blister skin if it comes in contact with it. That is where they get the name blister beetles. That's a warning to insect collectors out there. Know your bugs or you could get an unwelcome surprise. But can we use this chemical to our advantage? Yes, in two ways. Firstly, do you remember that wild night that you and a friend got matching face tattoos? Yes, cantharidin is a chemical that is used for removing tattoos. Although, you should definitely talk to a doctor before rubbing blister beetles on your face. Secondly, that ugly wart that has been on your nose since the end of October? Well, cantharidin is also used as a chemical to burn warts off. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions about blister beetles, leave them in the comments section below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one.